You know, for the past year, Rising Stars Academy has been preparing young adults with special needs for the workplace, and the school does it through food. And joining us this morning to talk about the program is its co-founder, Chef uh, Mark Prentice, and to show us some show off some of the skills they've developed during the past year, we're joined by Sydney Jones and Jasmine McCoy. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. And, you know, where did the idea come up for Rising Stars Academy? Uh, the idea started probably when I was in high school. Uh, myself, I weighed 440 pounds, so I had like a disability. And I became a teacher 10 years ago, and I'm like, there's no place for my students to go or for me to go. So kind of just thought about it, and I'm, you know, me being a chef, and I'm like, it's a great avenue for me to teach our students some disciplines, teach them about, you know, uh, self-esteem, right, teach them right. about, you know, marketing, all those kind of things. And so that's how... Rising Stars got born. Yeah, so it's not just a culinary school. It's really about life skills. It's about life skills. We do, we do more than just culinary. Even though we're culinary based, we have a farm out back. We have live chickens on the property. We do agaponics. We do microgreens. We all do, also do corrective reading. We also do one of the programs. We're one of the programs that actually our students do dri driver's training. They actually will go get a driver's permit and all they'll right. actually drive with the instructors. <laughs> we have a DIY room, so we, we're teaching our students some skills with some tools. Okay. And then we have a hospitality room where we teach our students how to make beds and, and things correctly so that they can get some employment in some of the hospitality things. So what are we doing here? What are we cooking this morning? This morning, these young ladies that because of fall, obviously with apples and we're coming in Thanksgiving, they're doing yeah. a deconstructive turkey dinner. Ooh, so yeah. the bread obviously is the stuffing. Um, apples, some people put apples in their stuffing with Granny Smith apples because sure. it's apple season. Yeah. Obviously turkey and then we have our own special little seasoning that we put on there with, the, we'll just tell you it's a little bit of cinnamon okay. and a little sugar and we're not going to be able to tell you the rest. You're going to have to come out to the, to the building so and see. Good. Right. So sounds it's a little so good. So it's a bit of all those kind of things and then our secret sauce over there is just some basic ranch dressing to give it a little bit of sourness to it. Okay, and Jasmine, aren't you finished with this one right here? It looks delicious. It smells so good, too. Yeah. And it's the Granny Smith apples really coming up. Yeah, so I mean, exactly. So it gets a little bit of the sourness and it gets a little bit of the, uh, a little bit of the bite from the Swiss cheese. Yeah, yeah. And also that, you know, that nice cinnamon crunch on the outside. It just makes it like apple pie and, you Yum. know, puts it all together for you. Now, how many students uh, attend Rising Stars We Academy? have currently close to 48 students. So we increased our enrollment 55% from last year. Good. So, uh, we can take students from anywhere, Wayne, Oakland, Macomb County. How do they enroll? They can just look on our website under rising-stars-academy.org and um, the packet of information that they need to fill out and they can come and tour the school anytime that they want. And where will students go after Rising Stars Academy? What are your hopes for the students as they graduate? My, student, my hopes for our students is that I know all my students don't want to be culinary people, but my hope is that with the things that we built inside them and the self-esteem and all the skills that they need they can go and do whatever they want customer service retail shipping receiving oh, manufacturing yeah. whatever they want just buy all those different things so it's really depends on each individual student what makes them happy and what Absolutely. what they want to do to be employed for the rest of their life so well, Sydney Jasmine what makes you, you happy so what's your favorite course or food you've made well, I made banana pudding on my own. Wow, <laughs> good job. How about you, Cindy? Um, I learned how to cut the pasta alfredo. Whoa, well, I can't you. even do that. Thank That's you guys great. for joining us this morning. I appreciate you uh, stopping by, and I can't wait to try the sandwich. When we